Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Drabian, radiologist. This is a sonography radiology training channel. I will present different videos could be benefit for physicians and general population. Renal cochlei is a common problem between all groups of physicians, including general physicians, internal medicine, nephrologist and urologist and so on. Finally, all patients with suspicion to renal stents refer to radiologists for ultrasound in first step. The most common reasons for requesting kidneys and urinary tract ultrasound is to detect kidney stones. Despite general impression that kidney stones are easily detected by ultrasonography, but one of the most difficult ultrasound examination is renal stone detection. The prevalence of renal stone in the world is about 12% in general population. The incidence of renal stones increasing with advancing age and in white men. About 60-80% to of Renal calculi has calcium components. There are multiple predisposing conditions for development of renal calculi, including dehydration, urinary stasis, hyperuricemia, hyperparathyroidism, and hypercalciuria. But new cause is identified in most patients. What is the clinical symptoms? of renal calculi. Non-obstructing calicial calculi usually asymptomatic, but small calicial calculi may cause gross or microscopic hematuria, colic symptoms even without any urinary tract obstruction. A calculus that migrates and causes infandibular or UPG obstruction often results in clinical signs and symptoms of flank pain, like this stone in urethropelic junction of this kidney. If a stone passes into, into the ureter, the calculus may lodge in three areas of ureteric narrowing, including the first one is urethropelic junction, the second one where the ureter crosses the iliac vessels and the third one is urethrovesical junction. Very small diameter of the urethrovesical junction, that is 1 to 5 mm, accounts for the large percentage of calculi that lodge within the distal ureter. Approximately 80% of stones smaller than 5 mm will pass spontaneously. What is the imaging modalities we can use to, di to diagnose renal stones? We can use plain films, right? This abdominal X-ray with this stone in left kidney. We can use intra intravenous pelography, and its renal stones will show at filling defects in calicial system. We can use ultrasound, that is the most common modality currently used to detect renal stones and finally on in hand CT. Ultrasound sensitivities is about 12 to 96 percent. The causes of this wide discrepancy including the position of the renal stone that is in renal or urethral positions, the composition of the renal stone or if it have calcium component or not and size of calculi. Ultrasound competes favorably with on enhanced CT in select patients with urethral colic. Ultrasound sensitivity of detection of urinary calculi in patients with acute flank pain is about 77 to 93 percent. The 2016 European Association of Urology guidelines for diagnosis and treatment of urolithiasis list ultrasound as the primary diagnostic imaging tool to detection renal stones. However, low dose non-enhanced CT has higher sensitivity, about 
percent and specificity about 97 percent for urolithiasis than does ultrasound thus many centers use low dose ct particularly in patients in whom urethral stones are suspected or patient whose initial screening ultrasound examination is negative or equivocal but clinical suspicion remains elevated. At present, CT is the gold standard for patients suspected to have stone disease. However, CT scan is associated with hazards of radiation and high cost. Ultrasound is cheap and also devoid of any radiation hazard to the patient, but at the same time its usage is limited by decreased sensitivity and specificity, inaccuracy in measuring stone size, and finally it is observer, its observer dependency. Why ultrasound renal stone detection is very difficult occasionally. Small renal stones appear as a small, small white occasioning lines which may obscure, obscure by renal iron fat simply. Also, in fatty patients with high BMI or if the patient be non-fasting with excessive bowel gases, these small stones were missed simply. Which technique point can help us to detect renal calculi better? Generally, renal calculi are seen as echogenic foci with short distal acoustic shadowing, like this shadow. However, small calculi may be difficult to detect if they have a weak posterior acoustic shadow. Which technique points can help us to detect renal calculi better? The first technique is selecting a transducer with appropriate frequency. That it means we must use carolinear low frequency transducer for adults and linear high frequency transducer for children the second technique we must use appropriate focal zones as you can see this in clip there is no any abuse stone but this is the same patient with a uh, with a small stone here what did i do i narrow the narrow the focus zone and change its position the third technique is harmonic imaging harmonic imaging should also be routinely used particularly in other patients and first technique is color doppler color doppler will also improve the detection of a small minimally shadowing calculi most urinary tract stones about 83 percent show twinkling artifact also, the artifact at least partially depends on stone composition. What is the, the definition of twinkling artifact? Twinkling artifact is a rapidly alternating color Doppler signal that immediate, immediates turbulent follow often identified behind a strongly reflecting stationary irregular interface such as a renal calculus. We can see twinkling of artifact in other situations like urinary tract calculi, this like this stone in right ureter, parenchymal calcifications or nephrocalcinosis, also with non-calcified biliary calculi, and any material with an irregular rug or reflective surface, like this double J catheter in renal pelvis of these patients. Twinkling artifacts can show non-obstructing calculi as well as many obstructive calculi. Evaluation of twinkling artifact is a complementary technique to standard grayscale shadowing of calculi and improves detection of urolithiasis on sonography. 
And finally, this is a teaching case. As you can see in this clip, there is no any obvious stone, but I narrowed and changed the focus stone and found this stone, this small stone. And when I use and I use color Doppler, I found this small stone and with more search I found another stone in lower pole calyces in the same kidney. In conclusion, don't forget to use ultrasound technique points, especially in detection of small renal calculi. That is, uh, we must use appropriate transducer, we must narrow and change the position of focus zone, we must use harmonic imaging, and finally we must use color Doppler imaging with twinkling artifact. In next video about renal calculi, I will speak about renal calculi size and I will explain why there is difference in size measurement between ultrasound and non-enhanced CT. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel and if you would like to get notification for next videos, please press the small bell. If you have any question or video suggestions, Right in the comments. Thank you for your attention.